The most significant and a landmark development in the cultural life of Assam was the establishment of the Ban Stage, Old, or Bayan Theater, the first modern Assamese theater hall at Tespur in 1906. The Ban Stage gave a platform for development of the socio-cultural scene of Assam. The great cultural trio Rupkin Warjyoti Prasad Agarwala, Kalaguru Bishnu Prasad Rabha and Nata Surya Fani Sarma blossomed here. Fani Sarma along with Bishnu Rabha directed the most successful Assamese movie Siraj. The band stage, old, was constructed on the same plot of land donated to the Aksomi Yabaksa Unnati Zadhai Nikobha and with the donation from the public. Jyoti Prasad wrote several successful dramas which were played in the band stage. Padmanath Gohan Beruah, Dandanath Kalita, Fanny Sarma also wrote a number of successful plays for staging them in the band stage. History Band Theater, an institution of excellence in performing arts and cultural, dates back to 1906 and is now about to become 100 years old. Before going into it we have to go back few years for the circumstances that lead to its birth. It is an accepted fact that the modern drama movement in Assam was started just after first freedom struggle I.E. A devastating storm in 1953 and the availability of land in centralized location of the town led general body to decide shifting the premise to the present location in 1955 and constructed up to a usable level in 1958. Throughout its thick and thin, since its establishment 100 years ago, Ban Theatre has relentlessly pursued the policy of upgrading new and traditional creative art forms, broadening audience involvement and access and improving the livelihood of artists and opportunity to contribute to civic life. Region of the country, Ban Theatre, named after King Ban, the legendary ruler of Tespur, occupies a unique position. In this long period of 100 years, it has successfully strengthened the bond of unity among the people of different caste and creed. With this end in view Ban Theatre is striving hard to achieve its objective of increasing opportunities for cultural and artistic expression for people of all backgrounds. With new ideas, new technique it has brought laurels through its theatrical performances at the state and national level. The Natasurya Drama Festival, in the memory of late Fanny Sharma, is being regularly held every year since 1971 from July 31st to August 4th. With donation and contribution from various public sector undertakings, voluntary organizations and individuals a huge theater hall with a seating capacity of 900 persons has already been completed. The acoustic treatment of interior decoration of the auditorium with most modern folding cushioned chair was done at a huge cost. But so far stage and modern lighting equipment, musical instruments are concerned much is yet to be done. 